everyone, it's Maria here from Pepley Rose Paper Crafting. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to make a card that goes along the theme of my last video. And I made a card like this. However, what I did after the video is I decided to add um, a die cut that says welcome and I used some old circle punches to add centres and make these look like flowers and I thought I'm going to go along with this kind of theme again and I'm going to use the same stamp sets but I'm going to do it in a slightly different way and hopefully um, yeah you can use the underside of your photopolymer stamps to make a completely unique shape um, so what I'm using today is the tasteful textile 3d embossing folder I'm using to a wild rose stamp set but again I'm going to be using this uh, little image here and I'm going to use the underside of that stamp and I'm using this as well the underside of that image I'm using the well written dies and I'm going to use the word thanks and I'm using a couple of retired items unfortunately but I'm sure you will have something similar in your stash so I'm using a half inch circle punch and this one is a 3 8 of an inch circle punch. Um, this had retired a long time ago and was a part of a three pack. I tend to keep these punches because they always come in handy and especially for punch art and things like that it's great to have it. So um, I will just mount my stamps on my blocks and I will be back. Alrighty then so I've just finished mounting my stamps onto here um, and so what we'll do is we'll start the process we'll start making the card so I've got a thick whisper white card stock again I love using white it's half an A4 scored in half again and I'm going to fold and burnish the score line so I'll just use my bone folder and fold that down and it gives you a nice crisp edge so if you're new to stamping that's what this uh, bone folder does it literally just gives you a nice crisp professional looking fold on your cards. I've got a regular Whisper White cardstock uh, piece that is a layering piece that goes over the top of the card base and basically I cut off a quarter of an inch here and a quarter of an inch there and that gives you a nice layering piece when you put it in the middle of your card. I'm also using a scrap piece of Whisper White again and I've got some gorgeous scrape and some Granny Apple Green cardstock and these are the colours we're using today for our ink. We're using Gorgeous Grape and Granny Apple Green again. So what we'll do is we'll grab the panel, the front panel. I've got a scrap piece of paper here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to randomly stamp um, the two images all over the, um, the whole panel. So I'll start with the large one with the Gorgeous... So I've just finished now stamping that whole uh, panel there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, emboss that sheet of cardstock but I'll first wipe off all of the ink from my stamp and that's done. So I'll just grab my stamp and cut and emboss machine and I'll use uh, platform one and then I'm going to use the number four and that's for the 3D embossing plates because this tasteful textile folder is a 3D one and it's quite thick so you only need platform one and number four. So what I'm going to do now is just start uh, put this in here in my folder and I'll run it through my machine and so 
so I'll show you the texture which is really really awesome check that out isn't that great I love that so and whilst I still have my machine out I'm going to grab then the number two plate and I'm going to grab my number three here <clears throat> excuse me and I'm going to use my whisper white piece of cardstock here and I'm going to get my well-written die with the word uh, thanks I'm going to cut that out over here and then I'll put another number three on top and I will crank that through the machine so I'll just make sure it's all evenly inside the machine effortless just beautiful so I will not need the machine anymore so I'll put it away and put that away and I'll just poke out all of the little bits and pieces from here And this is the thanks now, all done in white. Looks beautiful. Okay. All right, so pop that away. And so now with uh, this piece here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out some circles um, using my punches. So for the larger of these, I'm going to make them look like flowers. I'm going to punch granny apple green with my half inch circle punch. So I'm going to then punch out one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because down here I'm going to put a little strip of cardstock and I'm going to cover that up. So that's what again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I cut out seven half inch circles. Uh Now cut out all of my little circles, a couple of them were duds, so what I'll do now is I'll stick these down with some glue. Okay, so I've just stuck down all of those coloured circles and I think it just makes a really cool pattern and it doesn't have to be even flowers, it's just a nice abstract looking um, thing, I, I quite like it. So what I was thinking of doing was mounting either the green with the thanks on a small piece of cardstock there and then having it like a banner and sticking it down there like that or use gorgeous grape and I think what I will do is um, use the green somehow I really like the green so I will use the granny apple green and what I'm going to do is just cut a strip of cardstock and that will measure roughly 
Um, let's see. I'll just use my trimmer to kind of measure it out. Um, and I would say, let's see. It will look good at uh, three quarters of an inch. So let's cut three quarters of an inch of cardstock. That's over here, sorry. <laughs> right here. This just gives it a really fun look and I quite like it. I really like that. I think it looks great. What I will add there is another one of my uh, dud circles and I'll put the dud part underneath so that when I put this over it, it won't affect it in any way. So, it won't be seen. Oops, a bit too much there. I'll put that there like that. So what I will do now is I'm going to stick this over here like so. So I'll stick the thanks onto that strip of granny apple green just like that. I really love this look. It's a, like a retro, modern, clean and simple, and I just love it. And that's just using the underside of your photo polysmus stamp. So that really makes them go a long way. If you like the shape of something, you can definitely use it um, in this manner, and it'll just make an interesting look. Oops. I'll just grab a tissue because... Um, think the ink the glue's coming out a little bit too too quickly and too much of it whoops sorry that's better just knocked everything over as I got up okay so I'll just dab that alrighty so what I'll do now is I will stick that like this. Make sure it goes right in there. Okay, like that. That looks really cool, I love that. And then what I'm going to do, let's put that up a bit more. That looks better like that. And I'll just grab my, oops. Okay, grab my guillotine and I'm going to trim off that part. And so now I have this and I'll just grab all done. Isn't that beautiful? I just love it. I'm just going to add my card base. And I'll just stick this around the edge there. Oops. There we go. And this card will be my thank you cards for this month. For whoever places an order with me, they will receive uh, this card as a thank you for shopping with me. And I always include a little bit of something in there just as an extra special thank you. So... Dismounting that now onto the front of my card. And that is my finished card for today. I hope you like it. It's a fun way of using 
beautiful friendship and to a wild rose in a very, very different way. And who knew that the underside of these stamps could be so much fun? Like you can definitely use it like that. Also, um, that's, that's my finished card from the previous one. And I thought it was fun to use them as flowers and just use that as a cool abstract kind of fun background. So I hope you like today's tutorial. If you are interested in purchasing anything uh, that you've seen today, you may do so through my online store at pepperlyrosepapercrafting.stampinup.net and uh, you'll be able to find everything in my online store and it's only if you uh, reside in Australia that you're able to shop with me. Thank you all so much for coming past and I hope to see you again next time. Bye for now.